Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead, back again today over at our off-grid cabin. Guys, as y'all know, at an off-grid cabin, there is the need to be able to cook and to prepare things like meals and to heat stuff up. And when you have no gas, no electricity, you're always looking for the ultimate way to survive in a situation where you don't have those. And we have found the ultimate way here, guys. This is a rocket stove. It is a silver fire survivor. This thing has a good heavy cast iron top on it. I mean, this is a fine system to set something up on here. It's really nice. Stainless on the outside out here. It's got two good handles here if you need to pick it up and carry it with. You can pick it up and tote it. It's not really that heavy. Um, it has a fire shelf here that goes with it. This little lid lifts up here. This is actually where you put your fire in right here to get it going. This little shelf mounts right here. You can lay your sticks on this right here. You can let this lid down on top of them. And as it's burning, you can slide those sticks in there and you keep a good steady fire going here. And this thing can heat really rapidly hot really fast. And one that I was going to demonstrate here in a little while uh, about how this thing can work and just how fast it can boil water and stuff like that. One that's going to be running around gathering up just some sticks in the yard. Because, guys, that's what, that's what surviving is all about, is not having to be able to... You don't want to have to be going out cutting wood and splitting wood and all that to be able to cook. This thing is can be carried with you anywhere you go. If you go on a camping trip or wherever you go, you can carry these with you because they're not heavy and you can cook with them. You don't have to have gas when you get to the campsite. You can run around the campsite out there in the edge of the woods, pick up some sticks, and you're ready to go with this thing. Now, you don't want to feed this from the top. This is designed to be fed from the side here, and you can control the temperature of the fire, guys, by... Uh, by how much wood you stick in here and how fast you push it up in there and by the type of wood it is now you don't want to uh, you don't want to get big old inch and a half thick pieces of wood uh, traditionally for these things to work efficiently you need stuff about anywhere from a half an inch to an inch in diameter you don't want anything much bigger than that and you uh, because that just creates the ultimate fire for, for this uh, silver fire. Now, I have I am a big advocate of rocket stoves. I have two in the barn that I have personally built myself. I have a four inch one and a six inch one, but they don't hold a candle to this. Now they're homemade, made out of a pot from Walmart. Uh, but guys, this thing has got cast iron top on it and stainless. It, you, it pulls in air from the bottom edges right here up around through it it is just really really nice this is what gives it the efficiency to help it to burn hot and to burn efficient one of the things about the bottom here because the air can pass around through the bottom of these vent holes here is i technically could sit this on my porch here this wooden porch and i don't have to worry about it setting my porch on fire and burning my porch or something like that or scorching my porch because um these air vent holes in the bottom of it, uh, Silver Fire says that, hey, you can set it on a wooden surface and still be able to use it. Now, you don't want to use these inside. These are strictly made to be used outdoors, but they need to be stored indoors once you're through with them. And once they completely cool off, the way you clean them, you pull your, smoke, your, uh, your, your little shelf thing out there, you pick it up, you take it out, you turn it upside down, you empty all the ashes out of it, and guys, it's brand new again. It's ready to go. So one tonight's going to get some limbs picked up here, and we're going to show you a little bit of a cooking demonstration with this thing.
So just with cleaning up your yard using the little limbs and sticks, you can cook in the silver fire rocket stove. All right, guys, we got the rocket stove out now, the silver fire. We're going to do the initial burn to get rid of the oils that's in it so that we can actually have it ready to cook. And to do that, we've got some fat pine lighter here. We're going to use that up in here to kind of get it started. And then we're going to feed it with some sticks that Ms. Wanda went around in the yard and picked up. And that's the beauty of this thing is you can just walk around the yard and pick up the wood that you need to cook with. You don't have to go saw any big wood. So we're going to get this thing up and get it rolling here. Okay guys, we're going to just let it burn for a little while now. Let it kind of heat up. This here's not hot yet, but we're going to let it burn until it gets good and hot. Get us a good bed of coals, get this oil burn out of this thing so we can get us a pot and begin the cooking process. This is water straight out of the Alexa Pure. It's really, really cold being inside in our cabin. So we're going to set it on top of the uh, Silver Fire rocket stove, and we're going to see just how long it takes to boil it. Ten minutes, and we have... Perking coffee. Ten minutes and it's perking. It's already looking like it's um, brown. And this is Tequino. It is really not coffee. It is a mixture of dates and figs and all types of vanilla nut and all that. And it is working really well. So far, We've only used a few sticks. I've got a few more broken up. And this is still left. Silver fire rocket stove. We're gonna have Tokino soon. Just a handful of twigs and we're perking coffee in 15 minutes. 10 minutes to start, 5 minutes more, so we're at 15. It's pretty cool. I've been letting this sit 
and perk for approximately 10 minutes. We've added only two more sticks from the time we started a while ago, and they're still not quite burnt up. And we're going to let these burn up, and that's going to be it. So approximately, uh, I don't know, 30 sticks maybe, 40 at the most, that were about this size. And they were little bitty pieces. You can see 8 to 10 inches long, almost the size of my finger or so. Less than, say, I would say less than 40 pieces. 20 minutes. Tokino will be ready. The fire is almost to burn out. It's been about 20 minutes from start to finish. And like I said, not too many of these were used. And I've still got a bunch left. And it is still perking even though it's almost burnt out. We're going to pour a cup and see. Look at that beautiful, rich color. That is awesome. And you can see it's still going down in there. We'll put it back on. And we're going to let the cup cool for a few minutes because that's some boiling coffee, guys. So guys, I'm enjoying a cup of my coffee. It's actually Takino from the pot that's sitting on the rocket stove and the handle. We were afraid it might get hot, but it's not. The handle did great. Um, it only took a few sticks. Didn't take a whole lot. 20 minutes. Perked coffee from cold in the Alexa Pure. Awesome. Danny skipped out on me. He had other things to do and he left me to cook. As usual. So, the Silver Fire Rocket Stove, guys, we are loving it. We're going to continue on using it. So, if you'd like to know more about the Silver Fire Rocket Stove, check out our link in the description below, and we'll talk to you later, guys. Okay, guys, it's been about 30 minutes. I've drank my Tequino and stuff like that. This has done cooled off. I took this out. It was cool. Uh, you can touch the sides now. It's not hot. It's still a touch warm, but not hot. So it has cooled off enough. It still has ashes in it. I'm going to leave those for now. There's no fire. Shut that down. Take this in and take it by the handles and put it up for the next time. We're not leaving it out in the open. We're going to be putting it in the house, but I'm going to sit it on our porch for now. And guys, it did great. Took me 20 minutes to boil my coffee, to perk my coffee. 10 minutes to get it to up to perk, and another 10 minutes perking, and it was perfect. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.